I've just received this gimbal through the post um, for one of my builds. It is a brushless um, gimbal. That the GoPro is mine that didn't come with it. Um, and it's got on top a BGC 2.2 board to control it. Now what I thought I'd do was kind of show you how it operates out of the box and where you go to get the software to configure it in different bits and pieces. In the one that I got, I got this one off our friends on eBay, uh, but a seller here in the UK. There's a little parts bag which has a power cable, because it comes um, with a power cable on it, so you have the male version of it. Some mounting equipment and a cable to connect it to your receiver. Also comes with a very limited one page bit of paper, which explains where you plug the bits and pieces into, and also explains um, how you uh, how you set it up. So let's just very quickly uh, zoom in on the board and I'll take you through what all the different pieces are and then we'll jump into the um, software, I'll show you where to get that from and how to change the settings. So the first thing to notice on this gimbal is that uh, this version that I've ordered comes with two brushless motors and the gyroscope that is actually balancing is actually connected to the bottom of the tray so that when it's um, in use, no matter how much I move the top, the bottom will stay in one position. Yeah, on the board itself, um, there are the two connections out the back for the two motors and the connector that goes down to the gyroscope at the bottom. And then you have a couple of connectors here on the side, which are for the pitch and uh, roll channel um, from the transmitter to basically position it um, in one particular axis. And then round here, you have the obligatory USB port, which is how you connect it to the PC to update the settings. Now, what I'll do here is I'll just um, fire this thing up. I have a little 3S battery here with a little adapter on it that will power it up. And I'll show you how it works and show you um, something interesting that you will find if you get one of these. It might make a buzzing noise when you first get it. So let me just power it up. There we are. So there's the gimbal now. So as you can see, as I'm moving the gimbal, the camera is staying still, spookily still in terms of its access. But you might be able to hear if I put this closer to the camera. It's making that buzzing noise. Now that buzzing noise is due to one of the settings that you can change in software. So what I'll do now is we'll jump onto the PC, I'll upload the software and I'll show you how to change it and then I'll come back and show you this working without that buzzing. Right, so here we are on the trusty netbook and I've installed uh, the drivers and plugged the gimbal into the machine it's appearing as com 22 uh, just so you're aware the drivers didn't install automatically for this board on windows and you have to download them uh, here's a screenshot of the website that windows very kindly pointed me to i've downloaded the drivers they um, went into this folder and here they are i unpacked them and then ran one of the installers depends if you're on a 64-bit or a 32-bit version of Windows. You install those and when you plug the gimbal in next time you'll be in business. So now we've done that, um, next thing we need to do is download the GUI. Let me just show you where you get that from. So if I just jump into um, the browser. So you need to go to basecamelectronics.com slash download slash 8 bits because this is an 8-bit version of the board and if you zoom all the way down you see all these firmware updates ignore them anything over 2.2 b2 on this board will brick it but when you get down to 2.2 b2 the simple BEC GUI 2.2 b2 zip is the file you want to do the configuration so you can either right click that and save as or you can actually just click on it and Windows will ask you what you want to do with it. And that is that file there. Again, I've unpacked it and we're going to run it to talk to the board. Okay. Right, so here we have, um, we'll actually pick COM22, which is the one we're going to connect to. 
We can, we'll click connect in a second, but let me just very quickly show you these tabs. You have all the basic PID settings for the board. Um, I wouldn't change any of the stuff in here. The advanced tab is the one we're interested in and the timings for the motors. There's low, noisy and high silent and we're going to change that. So let's connect to the board. There we go. Now we have all this stuff populated and you can see it all. Um, I wouldn't change anything. Um, in here apart from because if I move the gimbal around you can't actually see it but they can see all the accelerometers and stuff moving uh, the one we want is our good friend advanced so we're going to click on high silent and then we're going to write that back to the board always a big fan whenever you do anything like this is you also then click read just make sure that nothing changes super okay so there we go that is or should be fixed so we'll disconnect the board and close the application and we'll go back and plug it in and see if we've got rid of that annoying buzzing okay so let's um, plug this thing in and see what difference it's made now initially you have the wobbling as it um, sorts itself out it's definitely better it's a little bit quieter but it's um, still not completely silent um, what I'll do is I'll just show you what you need to do with the connector pins at the side to connect it to pitch and roll so let me just um, unplug this and show you what we're going to do here so if you want to connect this gimbal to a flight controller then what you can do is connect um, either the pitch or roll control to the input pins. Now the input pins on here, on this board, let me show you, are these, these four rows. And the way it works is the pin on the very end is for pitch or forward backwards movement. The second pin is for roll side to side. Now, what I'll do is I'll actually show you um, how that works and to do it let me just use this setup here we'll power it all from the same battery this is something called a servo checker I'll show you what it does I'll just plug it in very quickly what it does is if you connect a servo it allows you to manually control the position of the servo do cute things like find the middle point so you can put the arm on at 90 degrees or you can set it to do things like sweep but what you can use it for is things like this you can um, basically make it pretend as though it's the output from a channel on the receiver which will just help us out here so we're going to put it in the um, pitch axis I make the camera look down and up using the remote and we're going to plug it into the first set of pins here we go and um, and that is uh, with the negative pin at the bottom you see it's all powered up and ready let's actually set this up so it's freestanding and then we'll have a play so let me just set it up and come back okay so here we are we've got the, um, the, the setup here so we've actually got the output from the servo tester into that pin which controls the pitch and watch as I control there I can actually control the way the gimbal looks up and down using that channel so I'm going to actually connect that to one of the channels on my model to um, to actually use it that way so in flight I can either look straight out to capture video or I can look down a little bit more and it's a relatively small movement that actually does that so I'm going to have to make sure I've got that set perfectly on the transmitter so hopefully for those of you who are looking at investing in one of these uh, my recommendation would be you know it's um, relatively cheap and cheerful that allows you to play with gimbals without investing a serious amount of money and if you're looking to stabilize your video on something like a hexcopter or a larger model then you know what it's not a bad investment so i hope that's um, useful for those of you out there please like subscribe and my help out channel is available if you need any help thanks for watching speak to you soon